Hello, y'all. Welcome to 5D Lifestyles. We're talking about growing mushrooms. We're talking about growing fungus. Specifically in this video, we're talking about building a laminar flow hood. Our last video is what a laminar flow hood is, but basically in short, it is just a wall of purified air that allows us to do transfers of fungus in our clean room, but we can do it even safer because right in front of our hands is sterilized air, up to 99.999% sterilized air, where we can make transfers safely without letting competitors in. And so ironically, I did not want to build a laminar flow hood. I had so much going on building my lab. I just didn't want to build one, but um, I wound up buying one. And the one I bought was just, it was in use in a lab, but it turned out that it just was not good. It was basically set up differently than um, it should have been. Unfortunately, I don't have video of what it looked like when it first got here, but basically it was pointing from the top down. Here's kind of it before we modified it, but that was pointing from the top down, the glass in the front. You'll see shortly, it used these exhaust fans, which basically this is the most important thing is sizing your fan correctly. Those kind of exhaust fans do not push through the filter. This glass thing was facing you and the exhaust fans pushed down. And you can see here, the exhaust fans are literally not pushing air through that filter. If anything, it's like pulling back in. It was disappointing. So I had to totally re-modify this thing to work. So I took out the exhaust fans that you can see. It. And below there, I put a fan, a squirrel cage blower pushing through. Originally, that fan was um, with no filters. I just had a loose pre-filter, but it was very loud. It was an Ecuadorian bot fan, and I wanted to change that setup. So I got a Dayton blower. I never took video of that, but it looks like this one that I use on the outside. If you're in the States, I highly recommend Dayton. Um, it's, it was a quieter, nice fan. So I put it in this enclosed box and I use pre-filters. Plenty of people would be like, why well, use pre-filters? I did it for two reasons. Um, one, keep the sound down a little, but then also you can get a little bit of dust kick up in your, in your lab. Who knows? You just, I just thought it would protect my fan. Those are filters I really am never gonna have to replace. So from here, it pulls in through the pre-filters into this box where my blower is, and then it pushes out through this hole here, and then up to this like giant T compartment. And that is where the, the old exhaust fans used to be. And then in that space, it just builds pressure and pushes through the HEPA filters. It's that simple. Um, the main thing, like I've said, is your blower needs to be able to push against static pressure. Um, that's the hardest part about building a laminar flow hood, and it's not that hard. You just have to look into the sizing and what the blower can do um, and what the static pressure is rated at on your filters. And it's that simple. A few things that I would have changed if I built this from scratch, I personally, the two compartments isn't bad, but I would have done one wide filter, like a four foot wide filter instead of these two 36 inch wides. Uh, the other, you, Thing I do with mine, and this is like to the nth degree, is I have these UV lights that cycle on on a timer that kind of clear the space and allow nothing to grow in there, which is overkill, I will admit, but it's just kind of peace of mind. I used stainless steel to plate over this laminate wood. I think both those are really nice options. Um, again, you probably don't have to use the pre-filters. Um, Stamets designs when I was in his lab is he just had the blower on the top pushing down into this space for the HEPAs. I put it on wheels. It's so nice to be able to move it around the room. Um, one for cleaning underneath, cool down my blocks so I can make sure it's right in front of the airstream coming out of the pressure cooker. And um, it's just handy to be able to move. So yeah, it's really quite simple. You basically just need HEPA filters. These are 99.999%. Six inch are fine for laminar flow hood. I do 12 inch on my entry and then just size your blower right. If there's any questions, hopefully this video can spark a dialogue in the comments. And um, yeah, it's easy y'all. Basically you just need to make a compartment and have a fan be able to blow into that compartment. And then the only way out is through the HEPA filter. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, click around the video. We do have a fungus growing playlist. You can 
check out any other videos that you might want answered about growing fungus. Thank you, and signing off. Talk. Ciao for now.